So far we have created multiple AWS services sometime to commit code into our repository sometime to build our code push our docker image into ECS. Now in this session we will create a code pipeline to automate the whole process means starting from committing the code into code repository to deploying the Spring Boot service in ECS Fargate type. So in this session basically user will commit something in code commit repository that will automatically trigger code build and ultimately code deploy service will deploy the Spring Boot service into ECS cluster. So let's proceed. Search for code pipeline. Click create pipeline. Give a pipeline name service role by default it is going to create one new service role let it create or if you have one existing service role already created for code pipeline you can select that but i am keeping it as it is okay advanced setting i am not doing any advanced setting just selecting the defaults it is for artifact restore and encryption key default aws managed key is selected let's click on next now at this source stage let's select the source because we are using aws code commit so let's select code commit repository name aws tech guide branch name is master at change detection options choose a detection mode to automatically start your pipeline when a change occurs in the source code so i am keeping it the default option which is amazon cloud watch event which basically start the pipeline when there is a change click on next now at build stage it is asking for build provider we have the code build as build provider the region is same as we created the build project we created under us east one so we have this selected us east one only now the project name we created the build project in our code build session that is AWS TG Spring DynamoDB it was the project name so I have selected that if you have not created the project so you can create from this create project option but since we have this created already during our code build session now I'm not adding any environment variable here but you can pass environment variable if you want build type is single build click on next now it is deploy for deploy we will be selecting Amazon ECS region is again the same it should be the same region where we created the other projects like code build cluster name let's select this is the cluster name we have already created during our Fargate deployment session service name let's select the service name and here this is the image definition file which we created during code build now let me open the source code and let me show you how this image definition file works so in the build spec yml you see that i added this line this is the line which is actually pushing this output which is nothing but in a json format the name and the image uri to image definitions dot json and this image definition dot json file is required for code deploy service it is the image uri which says this is the repository uri colon the tag name which is the latest because we want to deploy the latest now let's go back to our aws portal and here if you have a different name of that image definition file you can mention otherwise it will pick it up we are not selecting any deployment timeout so click on next now this is the review page which is showing the pipeline settings source action provider build action provider deploy action provider now click on create pipeline it has created the pipeline and also started the pipeline as you are seeing that the source stage has already started it is in progress showing just now source stage has successfully completed now it has moved to build so it is actually building now
it has completed build successfully now it has moved to deploy and code deploy is showing successfully completed so our code pipeline has been executed successfully click on the code pipeline and it will show it has successfully completed all these three stages go to code pipeline now let's make a small change in code suppose i'm just making a small change i'm just removing this system dot out open a command prompt and checking the git status yeah this is the file so git add git push and once we are pushing it let's go back to our pipeline and it's showing that it has just completed this code commit stage and again started building it so in code pipeline you see that it is in progress so when we pushed a change it kicked off automatically and again same way it will complete build and deploy the build was successful now it has moved to deploy now it's showing the deploy has been completed successfully so this is how we created our code pipeline now let's check that after deployment how our spring service url is working so I'm just opening one new tab in the browser and here is the URL. The first part is the URL of the load balancer, then the service name transaction and then the transaction ID. Click enter. And it is fetching data from our DynamoDB. So our code pipeline is working perfectly. Now let's go to code pipeline once again. Select the pipeline and click on edit. Here, I want to add one new stage after build and before deployment. That will be one manual approval stage. So after successful build, it will wait for a manual approval and then only it will proceed to the deployment. Because in production deployment, definitely you want the whole flow to be automated, but still before deployment, in many cases you want a manual approval so let's click on add stage stage name remove the space and add stage well we have added the stage and it is deployment approval now click on add action group give action name approval action provider manual approval and it is asking me if we have any sns topic configured or url for review comments or variable namespace so we don't have anything for now just click on done so we inserted this deployment approval stage which is manual approval in our code pipeline now let's go to pipeline perfect so you see that we have added one stage before deployment after build that is a manual approval stage well now let's make some changes in code. Now what I'm doing, I'm again adding this sysout over here and adding the change. This is to add git push. It has pushed, go to pipeline, give a refresh. It's showing in progress. Click on the pipeline. It has completed the code commit part just now. Now it is building. After build, it will wait for manual approval as you see that build has been successfully completed now it is pending at deployment approval which is a manual step let's click on review and it is asking an optional comment and then approve or reject so i'm just adding a comment clicking on approve so just approved it and it has moved to deploy stage and it is in progress so this is how we can create a manual approval stage now now let's proceed to next session